Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tech Tips with Kerwin. In today's video, we'll be looking at increasing the speed of your internet connection when you share your internet from your Android phone to your PC. Now, if your home internet connection isn't fast enough or maybe you're out and about and don't want to connect to public Wi-Fi, which isn't always secure, then you can use these tips to tweak the settings on an Android smartphone to get the best possible speed to your connected devices. Before we get into the actual tutorial, I want to explain something important about um, Wi-Fi frequencies. Now, Wi-Fi has two frequencies, the 2.4 GHz band and the 5 GHz band. In very simple terms, these frequency bands are radio waves that transfer data. The 2.4 band ensures that you get better coverage. It goes up to 300 feet. However, it does so by reducing the speed of the internet. On the other hand, the 5 GHz band gives you a faster Wi-Fi speed, but it has a short range, usually less than 90 feet. So to summarize, the 2.4 band is slower but covers a wider area, whereas the 5 GHz band is faster but covers a shorter distance. Now, to change the Wi-Fi frequency on your Android phone, you need to go into your settings. With different Android versions and phone makers, getting to the right settings may vary slightly. So what I suggest is that within the search bar at the top of your screen, type in AP band and then click on the best result. AP band stands for access point band and this is where you set the frequency of your personal hotspot. So let's click on it and this should take you to the screen where you can configure your Wi-Fi hotspot. Within the AP band, you should see two frequencies. Most contemporary devices are capable of connecting to Wi-Fi on either band but some older devices only recognize 2.4 GHz. If you only see 2.4 GHz, or if your search didn't produce any results, your smartphone probably only supports the default 2.4 band. But no worries, I will show you later on in the video how you can share faster internet to your PC. Now, we are going to do some speed tests to really illustrate the difference you can experience by tweaking the settings. We are going to start off with the default 2.4 GHz band. The name of uh, my hotspot is called Tech Tips with Kerwin. You should set up a password to secure your connection. I did that before, so let's turn on the hotspot with the toggle button at the top. Okay, let's now click on the network connections in the bottom right hand corner of the PC screen and we can check for our hotspot. And here it is. Okay, so let's connect to it. And now that we are connected, I can do this speed test. There are tons of websites for measuring your broadband speed, but I usually use speedtest.net. So let me open this. And um, pay attention to the server that we are using. We are using the SFR Paris server. I want us to keep this in mind because we'll be using the same server for the other tests in order to better compare the results. So let's click on the go button and now wait for the results. So we start off with the download speed. And this green line shows the progress of the test. 
Now we have the upload speed and we can follow its progress with the purple line which is kind of hiding behind the green line. <laughs> Okay, so we have a download speed of 24.30 megabits per second. Broadband speeds are measured in megabits per second. The higher the number you have, the faster your online activity should be. I'm going to disconnect from the hotspot. Then turn off the hotspot on my phone. and then change the band to five gigahertz, like that. Then I can turn the hotspot back on and reconnect on my PC. By following these steps, you avoid possible issues during the network requirements check. So let's do another speed test. It's finding the optimal server and it found uh, once again the SFR Paris server, which was the one that we used previously for the first test. So let's click on the go button and wait on the results once more. Now the upload speed test is being carried out. Here we can see the purple line is making its way across the screen. Okay, so we have a download speed of 31.24 megabits per second. As you can see, the 5 GHz band is noticeably faster than the 2.4 um, GHz one. Now, if you want to get the fastest possible connection from your Android phone, or your phone isn't compatible with the 5 GHz band, simply plug your phone into a USB port on your PC. Let's disconnect from the hotspot on the PC. Turn off the hotspot on the phone. Okay, I'm now going to plug in my phone into the PC. That sound which you just heard means that my phone is successfully connected. And in the settings this time, what we want to do is search for USB tethering. Okay, let's click on it and simply turn on the toggle button. When you are successfully connected, the plugged in Ethernet icon should appear at the bottom of your screen. So now let's do the final speed test. You see that it proposed a different server, but we need the same server as before. So I'm going to choose SFR Paris and click on the go button. And now for the upload test. So with USB tethering, we have a download speed of 38.34 megabits per second, which is faster than the two Wi-Fi frequencies. 
as a general rule of thumb, wired connections typically give you the best broadband speed. So there you have it. Now you know how to get faster internet speeds when you share your Android phone's internet connection. Thanks a lot for watching. Please hit the like button if these tips helped you out and kindly consider subscribing to my channel for more tech tips. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.